Hey guys, how's it going? Dale here. Today I'm going to do a quick memory upgrade on uh, RAM upgrade on this Asus Tough laptop. The model number is FX506H. It's got a 11th Gen Core i5 processor in it, but it's only got 8 gigabytes of DDR4 memory, uh, 3200. So I'm going to open it up real quick and put in a crucial kit, 32 gigabytes of DDR4, 3200, two, two 16 gig sticks. So it's also quite dirty. I'm going to clean it up. Um, once I open it up, I am going to blow it out and try to clean it up because it's quite dirty. Um, anyway, I've already taken all the screws out. Now on any of these Asus laptops, mainly Asus, they use different length, length of screws along the back, the sides, the front, the front corners. So make sure you lay them out as I did over here on my little board over here. Um, so you can get them back in the right hole. A long screw in a short hole is always a bad thing. So I'm just going to take my little spudger tool here, plastic. Going to get in a seam here and just kind of work my way around to get this bottom panel off. So let me just pop into this corner right here if I can. These aren't usually too difficult to open up, these tufts. Done a lot of them. It seems like every one I open, something's different on the inside. Getting all tangled up here in my microphone cord. Get back this way. Just always got to be careful around your ports, putting your tool in. You don't want to damage anything around your IO ports, USB, HDMI, Ethernet, all that fun stuff. So you can see that lifted off pretty easy. Get my Christmas card out of the way here. <laughs> Um, yeah, the fans are a little dirty. I'm going to try to clean those up a little bit. And the RAM is underneath all this right here, so the battery is still connected. We have to be super careful. I am going to disconnect it using a plastic or a nylon tool here. Get under here. The battery is connected right here on the motherboard right here. Hope you can see that. It just slides back. So I'm going to take a second and pop that out. The slot for the extra, um, the second slot is underneath here. Here's our 8 gig stick over here. So let me just unhook Mr. Battery here real quick. This way if you drop something on the motherboard, it's not going to be the end of the world. So with the battery disconnected, I always say if you're going to do that, go ahead and open it up carefully. And let's hit that power button a bunch of times. <clears throat> Get rid of any extra power that's floating around in the circuits in there. All right, that should be good. So let's pop this 8 gig stick out of here for the lettuce. Oh, they got this stuck to it. Yummy. Eat this stuff. Remember to put that back on. Here's our 8 gig stick here. And our 32 gig kit. Pretty much just want to make sure you get a good click on the motherboard here with your little clips being very careful. <sighs> don't touch anything you don't have to, even with the battery disconnected. sure those came back over good which they did all right we got these little heat shields on here on each side so what I'm gonna see if I can do here let's see if I can even do that These are going to stick back on there very well, but let me give it a try. At least on this side. Just like that. Let's see if this will go back on there without too much trouble. If this wasn't on there, guys, it's not the end of the world. Don't really need it, in my opinion, but... I 
should hook the battery back up first. More trouble putting the battery back connected than it is putting the RAM in. So we're just going to carefully slide that back in, hopefully. So you can see I reconnected the battery there. Okay. Let's see if I can make that a little straighter. There, it's back. So I'm going to take a quick break here. I'm going to blow some of this stuff out of here out back there. I'll be back in just a second. All right, guys, I'm back. I did, I should have waited to reconnect the battery before I blew it out, but I was super careful. So if you're going to do that, yeah, have the battery unplugged when you're manhandling it and cleaning it out. But the fans are nice and clean now. There's literally really nothing in these vents here. So that was good. So anyway, we got the new RAM in, the battery's reconnected. Now we're just gonna put the cover back on. Like I said, it's a quick little upgrade uh, in this model. Just so you know, there is a second M.2 slot and it is um, PCI Express. It's not, not SATA, it might support a SATA, but your main SSD is over here, but you could add another one. There's no two and a half inch bay or mounting hardware to put a two and a half inch drive in here. Most of these are like that. Uh, the Acer ones, however, do come with a, all the Acer gaming laptops that I've done recently. Um, the Nitro 5s, old and new, have a two and a half inch bay. So anyway, I got to clean up the outside of it as well because it's kind of dirty. Do my best on that. Pretty good wiping down, clean the screen. And hopefully we'll have 32 gigabytes of memory. When you're squeezing these back together, always be conscious of your top cover here. You don't want to squeeze too hard on that and break your screen from the back side because it can happen or it could happen. You see it's got a bunch of crud on it. I'll get that cleaned off before I give it back to the customer. So now I have to put new RAM in and turn it on for the first time. Sometimes there's a big delay waiting for it to post because it's reading that new memory. So going from 8 to 32 should help. Quite a bit for the gaming and just in general so we got a post which is good not the fastest ssd in the world i'm not sure probably an intel i see that a lot in these asus tufts <coughs> this had this had um I already took it off. It had an expired version of McAfee antivirus on there when they bought it. It, was, it expired like 720 days ago or some crazy thing like that. So I got rid of that because that was always running in the background. I just don't recommend McAfee. What is that number? There we go. Hmm, where are we at here? I got the dark theme going on here. So anyway, this real quick. Go over here to Mr. Task Manager. Hey, how you doing? Good. Be right there. No problem. Right there. So now we got 32 gigs of 3200. Hope you found that helpful. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.